Have you heard of the first, and sometimes the second richest man in the world, Elon Musk? Of course you have. How couldn't you have? You've also heard of his space company called SpaceX, but Musk wants to exit Earth and go live on Mars. So yeah, SpaceX. But what you probably didn't know about SpaceX is that every single thing that makes it special may soon disappear. Why? Five words. China's quest to copy SpaceX. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be taking a look at the super creepy Chinese government and the super creepy way they plan to copy SpaceX and take away the trophy America won in the Cold War Space Race Olympics. Yes, we came first. And yes, that is a real thing that we definitely didn't just invent. Read history. In the beginning. So where do we start? Where else? At the very beginning. It all started in 1971 when Elon Musk was born in Pretoria, South Africa. Oh, wait, hang on, we don't have that much time. Sorry, guys. Our super freaky editor has said we should skip all the preamble and just get to the damn point. So that's precisely what we're going to do. So we're going to skip right ahead to 2018, which is a full 47 years after the birth of Elon Musk. Now, Elon Musk has founded SpaceX and is making some pretty big moves. He has unveiled the Falcon Heavy to the world, but it's yet to go on its maiden trip. But that wait wouldn't be for long. Around early February, the Falcon Heavy was launched from the Kennedy Space Center at Cape Canaveral in Florida. The launch was a big deal because the Falcon Heavy was, and is, one of the most powerful rockets in the world. How powerful, you ask? Well, the name Falcon Heavy should have been a straight giveaway. But we'll give you some facts. The Falcon Heavy is the most powerful rocket by thrust and is also the most powerful rocket by lift capacity. It's so powerful that you could use it to lift the heaviest, yes, heaviest, armoured tank into space. For your information, that tank is the M1A2 Abrams tank and weighs about 63 tonnes, which is about the size of 10 Tyrannosaurus Rexes, or 10 elephants, you know, choose your pick. Would you rather send elephants in space or a cool space dinosaur? We know what we'd pick. Seriously, it's not even a contest. The Falcon Heavy is pretty heavy. A lot of people watched the space launch and millions of them were impressed. And some of the most impressed people were the Chinese. Many Chinese citizens reposted news of the launch on their social media accounts and applauded Elon Musk. However, China's national media wasn't as glad. Of course, they praised Elon Musk, but they couldn't help but say that the reason Musk was so successful was that he leveraged NASA tech to make the rocket. The media also expressed regret that China's national space program was so far behind America that even a private space enterprise eclipsed the space program of China as a country. Over the next few days, the media continued to bemoan China's backwardsness in terms of space exploration. But is China that far away? From the outside, it looks like China is lagging in space exploration, and it seems that this may be the full story. For example, China spends only about $3 billion annually on its space program, which is just a fraction of the $19 billion that America spent in 2016 alone. But even on a limited budget, China has managed to do some amazing things that may not look so spectacular, but is also very important. For example, in 2016, China launched more rockets than Russia for the first time in its history and managed to equal the number of rockets launched by America in the same time frame, including among those missions was the Shenzhou 11, which carried a crew of two which docked with China's Xinzong-2 spacecraft a temporary orbiting space habitat serving as a stepping stone for a larger, permanent Chinese space station in the early 2020s. Amazingly, these missions are just little fry compared to the more ambitious Chinese goals of sending robots and manned missions to the moon and even to Mars. 
But all these missions, many analysts note, are propelled by the state to gain power and prestige, not for economic dividends. Unlike the entire SpaceX program. Because make no mistake about it, Elon Musk is looking to earn a lot of money from space exploration. That sort of instinct isn't present in the Chinese space exploration ecosystem. But all that may be changing sooner rather than later. Before we go on, we have a tiny wager for you. If we can freak you out with a super freaky science fact, you'll like and subscribe to the channel immediately. Deal? Great! Did you know that microscopic bugs are living the time of their lives on your eyelashes? Yeah, a bug may be taking another bug out on a date on your eyelashes right now, and you wouldn't have a clue. We're pretty sure that's freaked you out. If it didn't, reevaluate your life choices. Seriously. Have you hit the like and subscribe buttons? Great. The unicorn of space. Every huge company starts as a startup, or something resembling a startup anyway. China has hundreds of these startups, and 43 of them are worth at least a billion dollars. In the past few years, a lot of Chinese space launch startups have emerged, and they've been largely backed by hedge funds and universities. Three companies, XPace, Landspace, and OneSpace, aren't just three companies with, let's be honest, very cringeworthy names. They are also three companies leading China's charge into the world of private space exploration. These companies are certainly not in the same class as SpaceX or Blue Origin, but they represent China's attempt to get into this bracket. However, there is just one tiny itsy-bitsy problem. These companies may call themselves privately owned companies in public, and maybe even in private. But the fact says another thing entirely. XPACE's Kuozio rocket is reportedly based on the launcher for Chinese anti-satellite weapons and missile defense interceptors, while Landspace rockets is based on the government's Long March 11 rocket. One space isn't left out, as it was reportedly founded with the support of the National Defense Science and Industry Bureau. So yeah, not so private. But they are private enough to represent China's push to expand its space program beyond the scope of regular government-funded programs. The freedom given to these companies will allow China to build a separate space economy, just like NASA has built with companies like Lockheed Martin, Blue Origin, and SpaceX. If Chinese space companies are successful, they will be able to compete directly with companies like SpaceX and Blue Origins, and will thus allow China to enter a space race with America, without being in one. Which looks like what the Chinese government is trying to do. But the road there is still very far. American companies are still miles ahead of Chinese space companies, and that gap may not close in the next decade. But after the next decade, all bets are off. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Remember to stay super, leave the freaky part to us at Super Freaky Science. Goodbye and stay lit.